As we're here at Cosworth, I thought I'd get Gordon and Bruce together. I want to know about this first meeting when Gordon shows up with this uh, mad idea. <laughs> Well, I guess that was uh, I guess a few years ago now. But yeah, it was about four years ago, yeah. I guess, um, I guess first off, it's Gordon Murray. We're not going to say no. But, uh, <laughs> it's, he is very difficult to say no to, isn't he? <laughs> but, uh, and I think for Cosworth, it was just, it was perfect timing. Um, you know, we've, we've uh, got so much heritage in motor racing as, uh, as Gordon Murray, but, uh, but I think for both companies, we're kind of moving into a, into a different field now and taking everything we've learned into this sort of hypercar market. And so, um, but he comes with this, all these asks, I want it to do this oh, and to no, do that. Yeah, yeah, there, was, yeah. there, was, there was a long pause. <laughs> <laughs> when, when we talked about 12,000 revs and the engine weight targets, uh, there was a long pause. I think the engine speed was the, yeah. because again, speed in itself isn't the thing, but it's, you know, we've got to remember this is emissions compliant. This has got a federal emissions compliant. Yes. Yeah. And certainly when you ask that, you know, when you're sort of computing, yeah, that is a long way out of what anybody has ever done before. <laughs> and did you did you say we'll have a go? I'm not sure we can do that. <laughs> we'll have it. What was what was the reaction, Bruce? Uh, I think we I think we knew we were gonna do it. And I think it was, I, spirit. I think I think with a lot of the things we went into it, um, so we know how to make an engine run at that speed. Um, we know how to make it durable. Uh, we know how to make engines emission compliant. What we didn't know how to do was how to put all those bits together. And I think we kind of went into it and, and I think we both kind of knew, well, uh, that is an ambitious target. And, uh, but you guys have delivered and, and more. I was saying earlier, you know, I had the, right from day one, I had, a, being a little bit of an engine guy myself, I had the sort of feel of what the engine would sound like and feel like to drive, but I mean, it's, it's over-delivered, if anything, particularly the tall characteristics of the engine are mind-boggling. That you can have 12,000 revs yeah. and that torque, you know, uh, it's just fantastic. Circa four years ago. Yeah, four years on, and this is where we are. So. Yeah, and as I say, I think it really will, it really will go down in history as, uh, as um, for me, it's one of the greatest engines we've ever worked on. And, um, and, uh, and it's also a wonderful thing to have Cosworth's name on it. The last, uh, the last engine that had our name on it was the, the Sierra. Yeah. And that didn't go too badly. <laughs> that, was an, that for me, that was a no brainer. You know, it was going to always be a technical partnership with Cosworth. And I grew up with Cosworth engines from you know, mid 60s and Cosworth tuning bits and stuff. So, I've seen the book with the old know, things. It's, it's yeah. part of, you know, for me, Cosworth is, is part of my growing up and my heritage and my history. So that was going to always have Cosworth on it. So. Well, thank you for having the idea and thank you for putting it into reality. It is the most wonderful yeah. engine. Thank so, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Good. We're Mega. done. Thanks very much, Bruce. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very great much indeed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great to see you again, Derek.